hello guys here welcome back to structures pro in today's class we'll be doing foundation design with rcdc this structure as you all know if you have been following us from beginning we modeled the structure loaded it here did load combination and analysis together here on this channel and we've done slab design beam design and column design so today we'll be doing foundation design the foundation design we'll be doing today is just a part foundation after which we do it we do we do a, a raft foundation for this particular building so you are going to learn how to do part foundation using rcdc in this class so for the loading you see that the all the primary load we applied the self weights and the rest of them the beam load column the life load in, on the structure the wind load in x positive x direction negative x direction the wind in z in z direction so all these things we we use the template this powerful template here for the calculation this type of powerful template is what i use to calculate all the primary loads which i applied on that structure and this template as you all know is there the link to grab this template is there in my description so just hit up the link and get it at a very uh, subsidized rate it's very i'm running a promo on it it's very cheap for now i reduce the price to 50 percent in no distance time i will just increase the price back to what it's supposed to be so the earlier you get it the better for you like some of you that have already gotten this uh, template they actually chatted me up on whatsapp privately to tell me that they are happy to show appreciation for creating to, for taking time to create this wonderful template so inside this template we also have load combinations we have load combination ranging from serviceability limit equilibrium ultimate geotechnical and ultimate structural limit so these are load combinations we have done and um, as to euro code yes if you check uh, our start the uh, our start file you see the road com load combinations um, you can see from sls 100 they have from 10 to up to um, 39 load cases here so if you if you minus the primary load cases our load combination starts from 10 that means we have about 29 load combinations so this is a way of trying to check your structure in different way in different angle so if the load is combined like this, how would the structure behave? What would be the reactions generated? So at the end, the, soft, the software is going to use the critical uh, uh, load combination to do the design. In terms of member designs, it will use the crit critical one to do the member design. For for sizing, it will use the critical one for the uh, serviceability limit to do the sizing. For overturning, the same thing. So that's why it's good to have different range of load combinations so that your structure will be examined in different ramifications, different angles to check failure. So the, the template, like I said, if you need it, just hit the link. The link is in the description. Just hit the link and make the payment. Is Everything is automated. Once you make the payment, you have access to this editable software. Yeah, the calculation sheet very very educated very very um useful okay let's uh, do our business of the day um as we all know in our in our class our culture is that each time we want to do a, a new design on, on our, our structure we have to rerun the analysis first in order to recall the the design data the reaction forces that the software will use so this is uh, the, the analysis that has been done so we click on done then we go to our usual advanced concrete so here you fill in the necessary information the project name um, three story Story building design 
the client name. I will I will write uh, Mr. ABC. Engineer's name engineer XYZ. Now I can put my my company name there. Structures. Structures Pro. Structures Pro. Yeah. Then I will uh, select the code of practice. Uh, I'm using Euro code. If you want to use American code, it's available. Uh, yes, another code are there too. Indian code is there as well. So you select the year. You prefer this year. Then it's footing I'm designing. I'll select footing design. Then I'll click on create project. Okay, so the project is open. So we now need to um, do our settings. Um, okay, we come to this one. The first setting, click on general settings. Okay, you have to consider our burden pressure. Consider check for buoyancy if necessary. Check for especially when the area is swampy. The water level is high. You have to check for buoyancy. Check for sliding. It's okay. Check for overturning. Yeah, that's good. Then uh, for footing depth, mm, let me use one thousand two hundred. Okay. So uh, here you can type in the the soil bearing capacity. When you have your geotechnical reports, you get your soil bearing capacity there. You can put it here, or you can decide to use Eurocode calculation. Eurocode can actually calculate the um, soil bearing capacity. From here, you can feed in the parameters you need about the soil soil parameter but well, here i will just use a i'll just use bearing capacity of 150 which is very good bearing capacity um then the soil density 18 kilonewton per meter cube yeah. water table if i can increase the water table to okay, let me leave it at one meter foundation depth um 1.2 Friction coefficients and uh, factor of safety for sliding uh, usually 1.5. Factor of safety for uplift you can leave it at 1.4. So, okay, gross cross section design. I'll use maximum pressure for that. Then, uh, design parameter concrete grade. Use 2530 steel grade, use uh, 410 clear cover 50. Okay, type of soil the 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 soil being capacity has, uh, has answered that, otherwise, we we'll choose some a type of soil here, you know. Well, let me just choose soft. Okay, so I'll click OK. Done with this one. Then I'll go back again. Reinforcement settings. Mm -hmm. I have reinforcement area, minimum bottom, minimum top, maximum top, face uh, reinforcement, rebar spacing, minimum longitudinal. I will always use 150 as minimum. Maximum longitudinal, um, we use 200, don't need 300. Prefer longitudinal 150 is what I prefer. Minimum share, still everything 150 minimum. Maximum share, this one should be 200. Yeah, round up by 100 by 10. Minimum bottom still 12 mm. 
minimum top 12 and then maximum main steel we use 16 share okay it's okay you can as well do detailing setting crack control basic load Automatically, the software is picking the combination from my analysis. And for crack width, I will use some visibility. That's good. I'm done with my settings, so I will just click on design. If you're here to subscribe to my channel, I'll beg you to quickly do that right away. Click the subscribe button. It is not uh, nobody is charging you for subscribing. Just click it is for free. Click and share my content. Thank you as you do that. So our design is done. Every putting passed. All of them pass. You can see the the material property. The type of footing is pad, pad or true. Yeah, footing size 850 by 80 by 300, 950 by 9 by 300. Yeah. So as you click on them, you see the high as it it highlights on the preview. See 900 by 900. 900, 950 by 950, 950, 850. So I think the highest is 1050 by 300. These ones, this yes, we have 1000 as well. Okay, that's the highest 1050. So if you want to make the joint very easy for you, you can just make all of them 1050 by 1050 by 300, and that's a good job. Yeah. Yes, this is this is the this is our our so we can as well check the the drawings. Let's just see the drawing detail drawing. Oh, detail drawing. Click plan section section B. Okay, say so, okay. Let's wait it wait for it to come up. Yeah, the footing is, is up. Yeah, this is uh, the layout drawing on the pad layout drawing. Okay, so this one is a uh, uh, footing FU plan. Footing plan. You can see the reinforcement this way and that way. T12 at 200 center to center bottom. T12 at 200 center to center bottom. 
and that's cool then the section section one have section one and section two so this section one is this so the drawing is done just for you to clean it up in autocad take it to autocad and clean it up it is done already okay this is 150 tick pcc so i'm supposed to use uh, um, 50 mm not 150 so i can i can change that immediately i'll go to my design i'll click on uh, pcc setting to do pcc 50 and this one is uh, the offset make it 100 100 is good say okay i'll design the game that's good so if i go back to my drawing Drawing show all okay, it's up. So let's see. So that's wonderful. So the, the, the drawing is better now, it is 50 mm thick and 100 mm extension. The part thickness is 300. That's wonderful. So this is this on the other side of the section. Yes. That's good. This is all about our that's all about our part footing design. Yeah. It's very 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 okay. So we end here. Next time we we do raft foundation. Stay tuned and subscribe. Thank you.